Gwen, and good evening, everyone. It is, you know, I was really concerned, and I don't know why, because I should have more faith. I didn't know we'd have a packed crowd again tonight, and that's wonderful to see, because this is the getting down to the nitty-gritty, where we're going to have to work, volunteer, and do things, and it's great to see everybody here today. I would like to personally welcome and have the honor of meeting uh, Curtis Solwa today and, and the five or four other of the uh, Guardian Angels, and I see you have some other ones here as well. Thank you for coming to Millville, and we thank you for all you do throughout the United States and throughout the world. That's a good thing. Actually, Curtis, before you leave, I'd just like to rub shoulders with you because Curtis told me in 29 years that they've been in existence, they've had a total of zero lawsuits. So we should have that luck in the city of Millville because we got them every day. You know, it is time to step up to the plate. And as Gwen told you, the different sheets that are in that uh, the brochure that you got coming in, the program, please, at least, if nothing else, fill out one of them. And if you could fill out more than one, we would love you for that as well. We need to step up. And as Pastor Ennis said, again, we knock on wood. We haven't had any shootings. We haven't had any gunfire. But you know what? I've seen tremendous presence not just in his presence, church, but the presence of the police and of the sheriff's department. I thank them so much. Thank you for that. And I want to thank uh, Acting Chief Riley, who was unable to be with us tonight, but uh, Lieutenant Zadroga is here, but for the presence of the, uh, the van, the, the, the command center that's out there, that's here in the neighborhood. That's important because a lot of times there was criticism, the amount of money you spent on all that, and usually you'd see it once a year, maybe at the air show or something. But I give him credit. He's taken it out on the streets and put it in areas where it's important that the, the thugs know that we've got uh, police presence. And I, I really appreciate all that you're doing. I just want to say that whatever the people decide, we will be supportive of you. Whatever we can do to help it uh, grow and to help make the neighborhood safer, that's our responsibility. Before I wrap up, though, I've been taking a lot of heat from my fellow commissioners, my wonderful director, Vadiman and Joe Durella, he doesn't give me too much heat. Dave likes to needle me, but Joe uh, said, you know, Mayor, the, the cameras aren't going to be a million dollars. Believe me, they're a lot, lot less. Thank God. What I was basing my number on the last time I spoke was why on the appropriated 750000 Again, it's UEZ, Urban Enterprise Own Money. Yes, could that money be used for something else as well? You bet it can. But uh, Joe is in charge of the money. Dave's in charge of the police. I'm just in charge of economic development and planning and things like that. So. We got some positive things to do. But I will tell you, speaking with some people today regarding the, uh, the cameras, I think Curtis mentioned some of the towns that he happened to be in too where the, the surveillance cameras are there. And I know the prosecutor, we've talked about it, and, and certainly the director, that you do have the video of whatever may occur. So it is important because once they know they're out there, even if you're going to do a drug buy, that person better think about buying drugs in Millville because you may be on candid camera and then we, you could be in jail, hopefully, in the county jail. So we're hoping that people will listen to that. Again, thank you so much for coming out. And uh, I think, as the pastor said, we know we Millville people truly care about our community. That's why all of you are here tonight. Thank you so much for coming out and keep the faith. We're going we're to beat this problem, we promise.